What's going on smart people? For those of you who saw the video that I posted yesterday, I am officially done with my senior thesis. I gave my presentation, turned in my paper, all that good stuff, so that's done. Now, to be honest, I expected it to feel a little bit more cathartic than it does because, uh, you know, I, I spent so much time working on something and then now it's over. But, you know, I have two finals tomorrow and I have the exit exam the day after that for physics, so there's still, there's still plenty to do. One of my finals tomorrow is my lab final for my programming class, and the programming class is for C++. So basically all I'm doing to study for this is redoing all the labs. So if I can do all of this lab stuff, I'm sure that'll correlate to me doing well in this uh, lab final. And then the other final tomorrow is just art history. But going back to the C++ thing, after taking a course in it, I just, I really, really prefer Python. I mean, maybe that's just because it's easier, and I'm, I'm sure there's tons of stuff that C++ can do that Python can do, and maybe vice versa, but Python just seems so much more user-friendly. So I guess that's just a personal preference, but I have heard that C++, whenever it comes to running really, really big codes, uh, that C++ is a lot more efficient, a lot faster, and I don't really know what the validity to that is, but that's just something that I've heard. But it also could be the fact that when I learned Python, it was more or less for the mathematical side, the computational side of Python. I don't know how to do anything in Python that's not math related. And this C++ course almost seems like it was more geared towards the business side. It's a lot of things where it's like uh, people's information, so constructing structs and things like that. So maybe that's why it's been harder for me to get into because it's less connected to what I'm interested in using coding for. Also, I have no idea why pointers are useful. I mean, they make it sound like pointers can be super useful in C++, but I just haven't had to use them. So they're like, yeah, you could just declare this variable and set it equal to this, or you could create a pointer that points to the address of that variable and then define the pointer to be that, and it's just like, why couldn't you just do it the other way first? But I understand that there's more sophisticated cases to where that would be more optimal, I guess. Maybe it'll run faster to do it a certain way. But uh, this is still just a low-level programming class, so it's it's underutilizing a lot of the tools that you could be using in C++ and introducing them as tools, like saying, here's a tool for the sake of giving you another tool, instead of, here's a tool, by the way, this is what you would use it for. And that can be a little frustrating. But anyways, now going back to exam stuff, this video is kind of all over the place. kind of shows that I didn't really have a plan. I'm kind of glad that I'm getting some of these lower, just annoying exams out of the week. Out of the way. Out of the week. Out of the way this week, like uh, my C++ one, art history, and then the exit exam. Because the next week, I have just a little paper due, uh, which is already almost done. And then I have my quantum final. So that means all next week I can dedicate towards studying for this quantum final. But the light at the end of the tunnel is that in two and a half weeks, I graduate. So less than three weeks from now, I will have a bachelor's degree in physics, and that feels pretty good to say. But in order for that to happen, I need to do well in all of my other classes, which means that I'm going to end the video here, get to studying for the rest of my exams. Let me know in the comments section what programming languages you guys prefer, and I'll see you guys there. I'll see, see out you guys there.